Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. This is the first video I'm putting out for 2024 and um, this is going to be my fragrance tray for the month of January. Uh, before I go through the fragrances that are currently on my tray from December, I wanted to just give a quick um, thank you to everyone who reached out with words of encouragement and support um, during my last video that I shared some news about my ongoing um, sort of health saga. I uh, did also want to um, let you know that I am meeting with uh, my oncologist, surgical oncologist, on the 17th. I was not able to get in sooner. I am on a wait list, but um, am hopeful that uh, based on everything that we now know, the tumor is in fact smaller than initially thought to be, and um, I'm hopeful that, um, that that I will have good news to share, but not really sure. But in the meantime, I really appreciate all your words of encouragement and support. It's meant so, so much to me as I'm going through a challenging time of anxiety and stress, um, but um, you will definitely see that reflected in my choices of fragrances for the month of January, since um, I tend to reach for vanillas um, and things with uh, woody, or, or woody vanillas, I should say, or green vanillas um, when I am stressed out. And uh, so that is definitely reflected in the fragrance choices that I've made for the month of January. So starting with the seven fragrances that are on my tray. I actually sold three of them um, in some recent fragrance um, fragrance sales on my Poshmark account. Um, and for anyone who's interested in purchasing fragrances as I'm selling them, my account is at a little bit Laura there, so you can find me there. Um, but yeah, that's where I sell a majority of my fragrances. Sometimes I sell on Mercari under the same name, but um, that is where I'm currently selling them and uh, have been having good luck there. So um, yeah, I have seven fragrances on my tray, three I've sold, and I am in the process of um, hoping to get my fragrance collection down to 100 this year. I will do an updated fragrance collection video in the coming months, so stay tuned for that. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna go through and talk about the fragrances I wore in the month of December that remain on my tray and tell you a little bit about how I enjoyed wearing each one. So I'll start off with Tom Ford. This is effing fabulous. This is a fragrance that I came into December, uh, not sure if I was going to declutter, wasn't sure if it was a like or a love. And I'm still a little bit on the fence because when I do wear this, I do love and enjoy it, but yet I don't find myself reaching for it that much. So I'm not really sure what that's all about, but for now I'm keeping it. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's just one that I tend to wear going out in the evenings and in cooler weather, which we don't really have that much of here, so um, that's probably something to do with it. But um, when given the choice between this and some other kind of deep, dark fragrances, I tend not to reach for this as much. So we'll see how I do this year, but I do still really strongly like this fragrance. Next up, I have Hypnotic Poison from Dior. This is a vanilla almond fragrance that is super cozy, super comforting, and something I have been enjoying wearing and getting a lot of compliments um, over the last few weeks as I have been going through all of these medical appointments and things. Um, I actually, when I went in to get my colonoscopy and um, the nurse who was, you know, setting me up um, with, you know, my gown and everything was just telling me, oh, you smell so good. Um, <laughs> and I said, oh, thank you. It's, it, she asked me what I was wearing and this was it. And she was really young and I don't even know if she has ever heard of this fragrance, but it's a beautiful fragrance and one that um, I get a lot of compliments on and definitely a very cozy, comforting scent. Next up from Replica, um, based on Margiela, this is By the Fireplace, another fragrance that was on the chopping block this year, but I decided to keep it since it was such a small size, not worth probably going through the hassle of trying to sell. But um, in the meantime, I have fallen back in love with this fragrance. I've been burning the candle quite a bit in my home um, over the holidays, and I am uh, starting to wear this scent more and really enjoying it. It just makes me think of sitting literally by the fire, um, having s'mores and, you know, better times. So definitely something that I have enjoyed over these last few weeks and definitely will get more use out of throughout the winter season. Next up, I have Mont Guerlain from Guerlain. This is a fragrance that is a 
lavender and vanilla fragrance and on me sometimes this goes a little bit more vanillic and sometimes it goes a little bit more lavender i don't know what that's all about but i do really love the vanilla that's in here and i am thinking about adding some guerlain vanilla very well-known vanilla fragrances to my collection. They are on my wish list for 2024. Um, and this is one that may be on the chopping block if I end up loving those more. But um, yeah, sometimes I love this and sometimes I just like it. It really depends on my mood, what I'm wearing and how it is sort of smelling on me that day. Next up from Maison Francis Kirkjohn, I have Oud Satin Mood. This is a beautiful rose oud scent that I love wearing during the holiday season, but really during just any kind of cold weather, going out, dressed up, fancy occasion. I find that this is one of the sexiest fragrances in my collection and one that I don't get a ton of wear out of, but when I do wear it, I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is a beautiful um, rose vanilla um, an oud fragrance, I would say, that I just absolutely adore from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Next up, I have Coco Noir from Chanel. This is a fragrance that is a rose patchouli with a little bit of spices, a little bit of citrus, um, and a lot of florals. It's beautiful fragrance but again one that i reserve for cold evenings going out dressy formal occasion types of events that i don't really have a lot of in my life um, and i don't love it quite as much as oud satin mood so it is one that i am considering letting go of at some point but um we'll see how i do with it in 2024. And finally, from Tom Ford, I have Lost Cherry. This is a fragrance that I love wearing during the holiday season, and this season was no different. It's a beautiful kind of almondy, cherry, vanilla, and lots of spices, deep, dark, delicious fragrance that I love wearing for special occasions as well as just um, during the holiday season in general when the weather is cool enough, which it actually has been the last few weeks. So I've been very happy that I've gotten to wear this fragrance, and she's a beauty, definitely not going anywhere. And now jumping into what I'll be focusing on for the month of January, I am going to start off with two fragrances that I purchased over the holiday season and um, got some use out of, but definitely want to focus on more for this month. These are from Billie Eilish, and this is Eilish number one and Eilish number two. And I have been really loving these fragrances. I don't know what took me so long to get on the bandwagon with this, but um, number one is a beautiful kind of green vanilla scent that is intoxicating and lovely very simple but yet very refined and beautiful and um, actually has pretty good longevity especially for the price point and number two is um, more of a woody fragrance but I find when these two are combined they are absolutely gorgeous um, so I definitely spray on the woody one first with the vanilla on top and um, that is how I get sort of my favorite way to wear both of these fragrances and will definitely be wearing them a lot um, in the month ahead. Next up is the um, my favorite new fragrance in my collection for 2023. This is Baby Cat from YSL and this is such a beautiful deep dark delicious incense-y little bit smoky vanilla fragrance that is so so beautiful. I just, I, I don't even know how to put it into words how much I love this fragrance. It is really calming, really sensual, something I like to wear going out in the evenings, but I've also found that I love to wear it even going to bed or just wearing it around the house. It just makes me feel um, very warm, comforted, and happy. So definitely something I am looking to feel this month and putting it on my tray. Next up, I have another two fragrances from the same house. These are from Letta Fragrance from Stephanie Letta. And this is Letta uh, 18 Vanilla Mera and 22 Oris. Now, 22 Oris came out last year around um, the holidays and I wore it um, and I liked it, but I didn't get like a lot of wear out of it. And so um, I wasn't really reaching for it during kind of the... Um, holiday season so much and then I kind of forgot about it throughout the year. I actually had a bottle sent to me um, and I ended up um, selling that one because I wasn't sure if I really loved the fragrance and enough to have two bottles but um, this one I really 
like a lot, but I began to love it when um, the newest one came out, which is 18 Vanilla Nera. This is a beautiful, deep, dark vanilla fragrance that pairs actually really beautifully over um, the 22 Auris. So 22 Auris, I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a um, irisy scent just from the Auris, and it really isn't. It is somewhat powdery, but it is really um, a floral scent that is powdery and soft, but um, definitely not like a lot of other fragrances in my collection, um, whereas the vanilla fragrance is a really deep, dark, delicious vanilla that's a little bit boozy, and somehow it really brings the best out in the um, 22 Aura scent. So yeah, definitely keeping them both for now, seeing how I do with them, um, but definitely ones that I would need to give um, a little bit more love to in the month of January. Next up, I have another fragrance that is in a very similar bottle to the letter fragrances. This is from Chloe, and this is Vanilla Planifolia. And this is a beautiful green vanilla fragrance that I enjoy all year round, not just in the uh, winter time, um, but it's soft, it's cozy, it's comforting, and it's definitely something that I have been finding myself reaching for these last few weeks and um, really enjoying. Next up, I have two fragrances from Tom Ford. I have Vanilla Sex, which is the newest fragrance in my collection. That is a really beautiful, creamy, almondy vanilla. I would say this one is very almond forward when you first spray it on, and then it dries down to a beautiful, creamy, woody vanilla, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. Um, and then I also wanted to add Tobacco Vanille because I want to try pairing these two together. I have a feeling they would be a match made in heaven, but not really sure. I haven't tried that out yet, so I'm putting them both on my tray and definitely both very calming intoxicating vanillas for the month of January. Next up from Christian Dior, I have Dior Addict, which is a fragrance that I always forget about, and it's really a beautiful one. It's a green um, kind of woody vanilla that is absolutely intoxicating. It's one that I do wear more going out when I'm dressed up or going out in the evenings, which is probably why I don't wear it that much because I don't do a lot of that lately, but um, yeah, it's definitely a beautiful fragrance and one that I want to um, wear for special occasions and or just sitting around my home and get some more use out of it. So definitely going to be adding that to my tray. And the last fragrance on this list is probably the most soft and comforting of them all. This is Chanel Jersey from the Late Exclusive line. And this is a fragrance I discovered um, after purchasing the Discovery set of all the little minis from Chanel, the Late Exclusive fragrances and I just fell head over heels. This is a vanilla lavender fragrance that is powdery and soft and glorious, and I love it both for bedtime or just for hanging around my house. It's something I could wear every day, something I think would make a great signature scent, and something that I have been really um, enjoying during this very unsettling time of my life. So these are the 10 fragrances that I will be focused on for the month of January. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I wish you all a happy and healthy 2024.